going on everybody back at it again down here in Virginia this is my brother's raised garden bed what he did when he first started he, he leveled all his ground placed the cinder blocks down made sure everything was level on the first first uh, base then he put a second level on we went ahead and already started uh, kind of moving and changing some things up he had a broccoli here that he already uh, basically cut the top off of like this broccoli and it had no other buds on it so we removed it we added uh, strawberries from his other raised garden bed so we can hopefully get some more production out of it this broccoli here has a few buds so he's leaving it on to see if he can get a get a little extra um, broccoli on the season he has Brussels sprouts and we actually removed another Brussels sprout so we can incorporate a uh, zucchini that I brought down that I had started. We also have another zucchini that we're gonna plant. He has this curly baby kale and he's produced and, and has got about six bags of uh, kale out of this, which is awesome for him. We have the uh, squash and unfortunately they were all kind of tied together he said so the roots so we kind of planted them together so we'll see how that turns out for them i don't know if anybody else has any raised garden beds but if you guys have any tips for them let it let me know in the comments down below so i can get it to them okay so here's his tomatoes he has two beef steaks and a big boy and what we did so far is we used he he realized that the tomatoes were getting too big so he had to kind of stake them up a little bit so I showed him with some butcher's twine that we go ahead, lift it up and, and support the, the tomato on, on the stake. So now it's getting the leaves off the ground. We did some trimming to help uh, add airflow. So now his tomatoes can breathe a little bit. He doesn't have any uh, leaves touching the ground. So he's gonna prevent any blight of the tomato leaves which is gonna increase the production and also help the longevity of the okay, plant. So here's his second raised garden bed. After he built his first one, he ended up moving and needing, needing more space. So he added another one, did the same process, leveled the ground, set the cinder blocks in, and then built it two, level, two cinder block levels high. In this garden, he has strawberries on his corners, he has cucumbers, which as you can see, this is why we're doing it, so we can trellis this. He has watermelon, an additional cucumber, and then a transplanted tomato and uh, green pepper. He had it in his original garden. They didn't do real well. He planted them on a box, a uh, planter box on his deck. They came back to life, so he transplanted them back in here. And also with this, I'm gonna be clipping some of these runners for the strawberries so I can go ahead and plant actually back in Delaware so I can see if I can get some strawberries from Virginia. The trellis is cucumbers. We don't have any pipe or anything like that. So what we're gonna use is he had some branches that fell the other day. We're gonna use that with the, with the butcher's twine and make a trellis so his cucumbers and watermelon can go climbing up the, uh, the trellis. So we already tied the top together. So now it's just a matter of making a few, few rungs of the butcher twine so that the cucumbers have something to run up. make a couple pieces so we can tie up the middle So 
This is going to allow the cucumbers to climb. Okay, so now that we have the trellis together, I'm going to start the cucumbers so they can find the path and, and head up the, the trellis. So, bring this guy kind of back and through a little. And then they have on there these little vines that, that grab, so it helps them to climb. But we're just kind of helping it out for the first little bit. Here, if you look on this back side, we got a cucumber right here. Hey, hopefully you enjoy this. Like, subscribe below. Thanks.